So what we've got here is we have a standard Michaels economy canvas. You can always make those canvases better by adding gesso. I know they say they're pre-primed, but it's been my experience, they're not primed enough. So it's got two coats of gesso on it from me and sanded smooth, so it's ready to go. And then um, and the gesso is gray, a gray gesso. It might look white to you guys on the video, but it's actually gray. And that helps me bring the color up, the color up a little more truth from for what I want it to look like. So, all right. Uh, so let's do this. Let's do this. I think we'll start off with the filter. Let's figure out where we want this to go. Let's kind of mm, make a little bit of a sketch here. I think we'll kind of. Well, you know what? I think we'll start off with some. Let's just start off with some liquid white. Why not? I don't do that. That'll work. So we'll just use some Bob Ross liquid white, as you can see. <laughs> All right. This will be posted later on my YouTube channel. I'm going to go back and forth between the two when I do my lives, just to give myself a, a, sta a more stable platform than just Facebook. Alright, that's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to put some liquid white medium on here, which is really, for those of you who don't know what liquid white is, it's just um, titanium white mixed with uh, some linseed oil, basically. Hey Billy. Hey Bruce. So you might have seen on my last uh, video that I had a Shoulder problem. Still got it. I have a torn rotator cuff. So uh, it's gonna take me a little while to get over that. I don't know exactly how long, and neither does the doc. So just have to wait and see how it goes. But I just got my shoulder iced down really good, so this ought to help. Help me get through this. All right. So we'll start off with a one-inch brush and some liquid white. Let's just go ahead and put some of that on Say hi to everybody. Hey, Bruce. Yeah, it's kind of afternoon, I reckon. I don't really know what, I don't know what time it is. To answer your question, Bruce, that uh, little girl painting that I just did is, is, I didn't do a video on that. I was on video with Emily the whole day, you know, painting that, so. So now this, we're going to put this liquid white on fairly thin because we want to keep that kind of a gray color in the background. This paint is going to have a, a fairly, fairly large amount of gray in it. I'm just going to have some sunlight and stuff too. So hopefully we'll get back to more live streaming next week. We kind of set a goal for next week to do three. So we'll see how that goes. We have a new we'll have a new video up on YouTube on Saturday. Every Saturday we'll have one up. So if you happen to like the YouTube channel you can catch us over there. At least on YouTube they're not gonna lock us out. So Everybody, yeah. no questions this morning. It's kind of not part time of the day for most people. They're out doing stuff. If you're watching this year later, 
This is the period when everybody's all freaked out about the coronavirus, as if that was really something to worry about. But it's not. So. I could have done this with a two-inch brush, but I'm not in a hurry. This landscape's not going to take too long, and I've got a couple small paintings I want to do today. So I'm hoping to get three paintings done today. We'll see. We'll see if my arms is as ambitious as my my heart. Slung paint all over myself. <laughs> Let's flip that brush around when I did. I brought all the paint with it. Alright. That's a little too much liquid white to see me, so let me pull some from up here. And put it down here. Don't need that much liquid white. Although, there's really a fair bit of blending in this paint, so, you know, it'll work out okay. But what you don't want is you don't want too much liquid white, because if you, if you get too much, it's going to make your canvas really slick, and then your paint's just going to slide down the canvas, especially as you start to pile layer or layer. And we've got quite a few layers in this painting, so. This painting is not going to be underpainted, it's going to be all wet on wet, so. We'll start off with the sky. And what's the furthest thing? What's the furthest thing away? And that's why you want to start. Think about that. Is what is farthest away? And what's furthest away in almost any daylight painting are the celestial objects. Yes, oils, cat. All right, just yeah, traditional oils. So let's put the liquid white away. Now you can test your liquid white if you want to. I mean, I can kind of look at it and see that I've got the right amount. But if you're new and you're trying to make sure you don't have too much, then just kind of take a thing with your fingerprints like that. It should show your fingerprints about like that. So, yeah, we're not going to worry about those fingerprints because they're going to disappear as we paint. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. I kind of want to go about a third of the way over. It's a 16 by 20 canvas, so we're going to go about a third of the way over. <coughs> about a third of the way down. Mm, like right about here. Let's just start kind of putting, putting some sunlight in here. Now you can use a 2 inch brush or a fan brush, whatever, whatever you like you can use to do that. I encourage you to experiment. Um, you, should, you should try different things out and see which ones that you, which ones you like the best. We're just going to kind of randomize this up a little bit. Start right in the middle, work our way out. And of course, like I said, we're going to blend all this in a minute. It's going to be behind a mountain somewhat, so, all right, let's add a little bit of, it's a little too bright, let me thin that down a little bit. Some of this is going to get covered up as well, but. So if you're wondering if I just switched hands, I, and I did. I probably will the whole time I'm painting. I paint with both hands, especially now that I have a shoulder injury. So, all right. So how's that looking for you guys? It looks like it's coming, showing up pretty good. All right. So, so I think I'll blend this with a one-inch brush. 
So let's just kind of use the X stroke here. So I don't have a lot of paint on the canvas just yet. Oh, we got a hair though. We're just gonna take the edge of the brush and just take it off. There we go. All right. I want to lighten this yellow to a little bit more yellow. That's sort of a cadmium light yellow. Kind of raise it up to like a yellow. Let's do cadmium light, light, cadmium yellow, light, and cadmium yellow medium. So let's, let's do that a little bit. Yeah, I like that better. Clean the brush. I think, well, you know, I could have waited. Could have waited to clean the brush. I probably could have waited. Let's do this. Let's put. We're gonna have a lot of clouds, and this is a cloudy day, kind of a deep mountain valley kind of scene, maybe. So let's just kind of let's add a little bit more yellow up here at the top. So we're gonna put some clouds over that. Let's go ahead and put some on the top. Maybe put some over here. Then we'll cover some of this back up with clouds. I'm just blending it a little bit. Uh, I don't know if my shoulder's going to hold up. We'll find out. We'll find out. No, I'm thinning my paints almost not at all. They're just right out of the tube. Because I'm going to apply so many layers over the top that if you thinned your paint, you wouldn't be able to continue painting. And we're just going to keep continuing to paint. So, matter of fact, we're going to wipe a little bit of this medium off. I think it's a little still, a little too heavy. much blending medium to suit me. You put as much on as you would like. All right, now, so we're not going to have this. Well, maybe we'll just have the edge of the sun come out just a, just a tiny little bit on the edge of this. So let's put just have a tiny, tiny little bit of titanium white out of the tube here. We're not going to clean this brush, this filbert that we're using. But we'll come right in here and kind of add some yellow. Add some white to this yellow. We just kind of want to hint about that sun, so we'll we'll just kind of put this in there. And then we'll leave that be because it's going to show. We're not going to. It's not even. I'm not even sure that's going to show later. Uh, depending on where I put the mountain, so. All right, let's pick up some, hmm, let's see. Let's go with some Payne's Gray today. If you haven't used Payne's Gray, it's a, it's a wonderful color. I really like it a lot. I have, I have a lot of people ask about different brands of paint, and honestly, I just use whatever's on sale because... I mean, if you learn to kind of control the paint, you don't really have to. You don't have to have the world's best paint to make it come down. Of course, when I'm doing a commission, that's a little different, but I don't I don't have a lot of those. All right, so <clears throat> let's see how we want to do this. 
I think before I put those in, let's put some let's put some distant clouds in. So we're just going to pick up some of that orange we had earlier. I'm going to put those way back in there, way back up in there. Now, you can put these clouds with, with a filbert. You can kind of, you can either kind of twirl them in, or you can, do a, hang on, I'll show you. Let me push some paint up on my brush. You can take and just kind of tap them in like this. So, you know, anything is just practice with them. It'll, it'll come to you. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. I think I'll pick up a little bit of Wizard and Crimson to kind of add some shadows to these just a little bit. I need a lot of those. I'm going to put some storm clouds in front of that. Maybe just some distant little poofers, little doers right there. Like that. Alright. Now, now let's start to add. Now let's start to add. So I think we'll start off with some. Let's see about how dark that is. We'll start off in this corner just to check the paint. Yeah, that's a little that's a little light. Hey, Dwayne. All right, I'm gonna start putting these clouds in. So we put some of this dark down in here. We're going to continue the dark as we move it toward the corner. I want the corners to be pretty dark and then kind of moving their way out. Let's switch to a one inch brush for a moment just to kind of get some of this color in there a little darker, a little deeper. If you have any questions, just put them up there. I'll get to I'll catch up. I'll catch up to them eventually. Stuff in there. We're going to clean this brush. Put a couple of little smaller dark guys in front of these clouds. And push some of those back a little farther. All right. So clean that brush, set it aside for the moment, and then let's just blend these. Nice 
some of the new strokes. <clears throat> Swipe this off on a towel. There we go. gonna start putting some we're gonna have a distant mountain kind of like right in here it's back away that'll be mostly out of focus and then we'll put a closer mountain right here and then we'll put a bigger mountain right here and then we'll have some lake stuff up here in the front now that's out hi Mary now I'm painting in oils traditional oils wet on wet Let's get the mountain drawn. That's the first mountain. Uh, let's see. Mostly I kind of want it to be shadowed back there, so. I'm going to pick up a little bit of burnt umber. A little bit of this gray that we're working with, this paint's gray that we're working with. Let's start laying the first little, well, it's not little, first good sized mountain out. I'm just going to kind of sketch it here with this. The burn number kind of takes the blue kind of out of that a little bit. Pushes it off in the distance. All right. Now we got some liquid white already on the canvas, but let's pick up a okay. Well, if we had some titanium white, we'd pick up a little bit of titanium white. Let's just pick up a little bit of titanium white. We're putting out small portions of paint on the palette as we go here. So we're just gonna pick a little bit of this up. We'll tap this in right at the base of this mountain. Kind of create some distance between us and it. And as you're tapping it, as you're tapping it, kind of tap and give it a little bit of a push, just a little bit. Don't pound it, but give it a little bit of a push upward, and that'll kind of make it uneven and going across there, which is kind of what you want. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's pretty good. start moving towards this bigger mountain. Now we're going to make this one a little bit darker. So same color, this blue, or gray, I'm sorry, and some burnt umber. Burnt umber just taking some of the color off of the thing here. All right. Let's start to think about this one here. What did I think about that? What size mountain do I want? Yeah, okay. So this one, this is also going to be a little bit of a backward mountain a little bit. So. back in a minute as we start to move toward these and put a little bit more highlight on these guys but I kind of want to stick with this color while I have it up canvas here and we'll do the details here in a little bit. Matter of fact we may switch over and do it with a knife. We'll see, we'll see. I might can just do all this with a filbert, we'll see. We're using a downward stroke to create this steepness in this mountain. 
There's going to be a lot of clouds in this particular valley, so we're going to kind of add some shadows here and there. I think I'm going to switch to a flat just for just for a few minutes. Kind of put, put this paint down a little faster. Here in this mountain, pick up a little bit of burnt umber. I need to pick up enough burnt umber. Just to I'm add some there. And then over here, I think we'll lose a little bit more of this gray color. Keeping this paint pretty thin because, um, well, the paint itself is not thin, but we're keeping the, we're not putting a lot of paint on the canvas. We're just kind of slightly staining it here. Just to kind of, because I'm going to put some, we're going to put some more clouds in here. So, in fact, we want to put some in front of that mountain before we start doing our thing. So, let me see if there's any questions. There you are. I am. You look like you were really busy doing all your stuff there, getting your artwork going out. Similarly, Jean, if you guys don't follow her channel, you should. She's really good. She's really good. So that mountain's still back there pretty far, but let's put some, let's put some trees and stuff in here. Oh, I'll do that with, uh, let's do it with a fan brush, I guess. So we're going to get some sap green. Hey, Amy. <laughs> yeah, Emily, I thought I'd do a live, because... Um, and then if you had time, you could jump in, but uh, yeah. I didn't want to type your whole day again, like last time. <laughs> you guys might have seen the last painting that Emily and I kind of, I don't know, we, I, could, I guess we could say we collaborated on it. We were talking about it the whole way through, so, all right. So we just want to put some, a few trees here and there. And these are going to be kind of off in the distance, so we don't want to add a whole lot of color. And we're also kind of adding just a little bit of brown to take kind of like some of the green off of that. And let's see, let's just have them. Let's just kind of have them march on down the hillside here like this. down here so we get a little closer we'll have some more water but I got another mountain to stick in here yet maybe two on that side so let's see let's see if we got enough liquid white here just to punch up this fog Clean that brush. Not because it needed to be cleaned so much. <laughs> Your channel's called Chaos. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a good channel name because uh, I've seen it. <laughs> Very descriptive. All right, let's stick another mountain in here. Well. 
tell you what. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. So let's, let's pick up this flat. I think we use this brownish color here. Let's put this out just a, let's put this out just a little bit. I want it to kind of stay in the dark in the background. Then we're going to move to the other side here in a second. And I'm kind of pushing that brown into the canvas so I want it to stay in that spot. I'm going to start laying this other layer down. <laughs> You might say, well, you, you just put that paint down, now you're painting right over the top of it. Yeah, well, I know what I know what's back there. I have to kind of keep that framed up in my mind for just what's in the background. But having painted that, I don't have to worry about the uh, the merging of all this stuff, right? Because it's still back there. All right, let's put this color in, and then we'll start to highlight it. Let's make that a little uneven like that. There we go. Maybe even a little more like that. There we go. Alright. Before we have like this, let's let's blend this some. Pull some of this paint off. Push some of it around a little bit like that. But I want to keep that texture that I got going there a little bit because switch colors now. We're gonna move over. We're gonna we're gonna come back and highlight this in a second. But before we do that, I wanna I wanna lay some of the rest of the forest line in across this area and then bring there's a well let me figure out where the lake is first I guess. So hmm, I think for the lake color let's start let's start off with some some really in blue and see if I that's what color I want. I think that might be a nice hue for that. Alright, that looks okay. Now you can put this on with a fan brush or whatever. Whatever you want to put it on with. I'm just using it with a filbert because it's easy. I like I like the use of filbert. That gives me an idea now where to put it. We will see. Alright, let's just kind of let me smooth this out. I don't want to put some trees in here. Yeah, that's okay. There's going to be a mountain right there. Alright, that's pretty good. You're all, these are all shallows through here, so that's fine. That's all just fine. All right, let's go with some. This mountain here is closer, so let's mix up some stuff here to go with that. <laughs> All 
<laughs> you know what I was crossing? Yeah. Yeah, I probably am. Kind of jumping around a little bit, but it's kind of... I only had done like a slight sketch of this painting, so... All right, I think I will put this on. I think I will do this little bit part with a knife. Although I'll continue to do some of this. We're going to... It's not a knife, Benjamin. All right. We're going to take some of this yellow ochre and mix it with a little bit of this yellow. We're just cutting up a bead. We're just pulling up a bead about like this on the edge of the knife. Probably the knife very flat. And by the way, don't put your finger on it like this. You're not buttering a piece of bread. You're painting on a canvas, right? So, and, it, and just let it touch the canvas and let the canvas take what it wants. Give the rest back. All right. Now we're going to come back with that a little bit along the edges with some of this yellow. Some of this gray and a little bit of dark back in on this. And that'll give them that'll give it a little more texture. I'm gonna put some more trees and stuff in here in a minute, so all right. Okay, that's good for that part for now. For now, for now. Pick up the fan brush. And a little bit of titanium white. And a little bit of this yellow. All back through here. We're just going to pop up some trees like this. And we'll start making them a little green here, right along here. They're still back there pretty ways. All right, now we'll start to put some other trees in front. So let's do that. Let's put a couple over here and a couple over there. And then we'll start working on this big mountain right here. All right. I think I'll use a smaller fan brush for the tree, though. It doesn't really matter. You can use any size you want. You can use any brush you want. It, it's not that big a deal. Um, once you understand how to do trees. If you'd like to see like a video of nothing but trees and how to do those, let me know and I'll, I'll do one. And I'll put it, we'll put it up on Facebook and YouTube. All right, so let's put a, a couple of little trees right here. I'm not going to put much highlight on those guys because they're still pretty far back there. They're sitting in front of this, sitting behind this mountain. And I have to put my crooked tree in here. I always need a crooked tree. Let's put a little bit of a bigger tree. Mm, no, maybe not. Yeah, you know, I think I'll skip that tree for now. All right, let's get this other mountain in here, and that'll give me a better idea about how I want the rest of this to go. So let's, let's see, let's just pick up a one-inch brush, and we'll put some, lay some color down here. Yeah. 
the tree in. So let's get a flat. I don't think I have one over there. Let's get this mountain in. So we're using the same gray we used before. We may switch and add some black in a minute, but... I want this to be a little bit darker than that, I think. Let's just get it laid in here and we'll figure out what we're going to do with it. painting wet I'm wet so the fact that we're laying this color down we can move that color all around here in a minute and we will in just a minute all right I want all of this to be steep we'll put a couple of cliffs maybe another another piece of a mountain in here somewhere we'll see we'll see we'll see what we get there It's kind of nice about wet on wet. You can take you can take a brush and you can pull this paint around any way you want. You can reshape the mountain. You can reshape the slopes. Make it do anything you want it to do while it's in this stage. So, kind of looking at this like right here. I'm thinking what I'm going to do. Let's do it. Let's just do it and see how it looks. If it doesn't like it, you can always change it. If I can find the right color. Let me look one more time. What did I do? Oh, here it's ivory black. So, we pull up a little bit of ivory black. Nope. I've got. Got a um, paint gray on there, which is fine. But I want to pull this. I want to pull another piece of this mountain out a little bit farther. So let's kind of do that, like right here. This dark color will pull it forward. Let's do them together. So we'll take a knife and some, pick up some of this lighter gray color. Let's see, let's see what we got here. Well, I'll tell you what, before we put through that, let's go across the top. Pull some of that down. 
actually give it more of a flat lower appearance before we start pulling it down. All right. Don't worry too much that I'm going to pull that over there. It's more important not to make a halo around the other thing. So let's mix a little bit more brown in with this. Yeah, that's better. There we go. Since I kind of put this mountain in prior to that, I want to separate it a little bit. But I should, I could have separated it before, but I wasn't sure where I wanted to go with it just yet. But we all do that now. I'm going to tap this line in here. And then we'll correct, we'll correct it on the mountain itself. Let's bring some highlights to this mountain, to the side. So it's going to go up here, right on the tips of these trees. Okay, Bruce. See you next time, buddy. All right, let's add a little black to this. Let's add a little more shadow right in here. There we go. Let's let that paint set for just a second while we clean out some brushes. Because I don't think I need to dirty up every single brush I have, although I'm working on it pretty good. Oh, you know what? I had to change the painting. Hmm. <laughs> well. Valley to be so wide. So we're gonna we're gonna change the painting. So if you ever wonder like, oh I messed that up, you know, you really can't do that with oil painting unless you just give up. But I'm not you know me very well, you know I'm not one that's gonna give up, so let's get these brushes clean and then we'll we'll start changing it. We'll start moving it around. You guys have any questions while I'm getting ready for this? Feel free to put them up there. Got a couple more brushes left to go. Oh, 
right. One more. All right, so we're going to take this mountain. We're going to make it about twice as big as it is, but or maybe we'll just create another mountain behind it. Uh, I don't know. I'll decide as I go, I reckon. All right, so let's get a flat. And some burnt umber. And some of this paint's gray. Maybe. Maybe a little bit of black. I'll mix that on the brush on the palette. And let's do it. Let's, let's get let's get drastic here. Alright, so I want it to be like I know, all you're like, oh, he's messed it up now. Yeah, well, it was messed up, but now it's getting better. <laughs> I didn't get what I, I didn't do what I wanted to do. This is kind of this in here. We can leave that part alone for now. We'll fix it in a second. Gotta get this mountain in here. Okay, now this part here that I did before. I could scrape that back with, well, I'll tell you what. Rather than tell you I could do something, I'll just do it and we'll see what happens. How's that sound? All right, so <laughs> that's not to be confused with the words, watch this. I, I never say those words. Um, that usually means something awful is about to happen. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to take this knife. We're just going to kind of. Just kind of scrape the excess paint off. And then we'll take this towel and we'll just kind of rub some more of it off. I have the basic outline of the mountain that I want. And I know where that extra thing is going to be. Actually, oh, you know what? Instead of that. Instead of that being like another piece of the mountain, maybe it should just be a cave. Huh. All right, we'll think about that. All right. Okay, let's switch back to the knife. And we'll just start off with some burnt umber. What did I do with it? Here it is. Man, I raced the whole mountain and nobody, nobody asked me any questions. That's amazing that I'm that clear. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's see. Let's get some some of this. Some of this. All right. And let's just kind of. Man, it's not. It's in a bad pull position for my sore shoulder. All right. So that's okay. We can try that. Try to do it anyway. Like that. All right. Some more burnt umber. Like that. We're gonna leave this mountain ridge up there, that ridge for like that. And then right around here, it's gonna
I'm going to take this highlight too far back because the sun's behind it, right? So let's take some of that, some of that yellow and mix it with this brown and get a little bit more of that. Let's uh, add another layer here. layers of paint on here now so you just gotta let the knife take it take it as it, or let the canvas take it off the knife which means you're just barely touching it we're shooting up a roll about this big and we're just kind of pulling it down smaller bead of paint. That looks pretty good. I'm just pulling some of this texture out. I don't want quite so much texture. I mean it's okay to have some. I would recommend some. Alright, but you don't need a, I don't need a boatload for this, for this anyway. All right, now we're going to come back to this cave, so let's do that. I think we'll leave this cave here like this. I'm going to scrub it in here. So we're going to add a little bit of black to that side. On this side, we're not going to add any. We're just going to scrub this paint around. On this side, we're gonna have to build. We're gonna have to build a beach. We're either gonna have to build a beach, or we have to bring water around. One of the two, or put some trees in front of it, or something. Which we, we could do that. We could do any of those things. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we want to do. Let's take. Let's stop using both rolls of paper towels, shall we? All right. So let's take. Let's take, let's take, let's take. Set this over to the side for a second. And let's take all of this here. And smooth that out. Then we can kind of decide what we want to do. Alright. Alright, I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's do this. Let's take. Let's leave that shadow there, and over that, let's paint, let's paint some cerulean blue in here. Alright. 
like that. Yeah. It looks okay. Okay. Which brings us to start thinking about the detail of this side. But we'll let that kind of settle for a minute. And let's do this. Let's pick up some white. Pick up some titanium white and put a little bit of fog over there. A little bit of fog over here, maybe. Just a little bit. Come up on that mountain just a little bit. Don't want to cover it up. Just want to. Let's see. Pick up some sap green. And let's put some put a few trees in here. So let's don't do that. All right. Let's bring this one down. All right. Now, I got a couple trees there. Kind of start working on the landscape part. So let's do that. I'm we'll using a one-inch brush, I think, just to lay this in. It'll be easy enough. So will take some one-inch brush, and that'll, that'll be good. I'll just add a little bit of brown to that. I'm going to kind of make this a little bit darker. And we'll come back and highlight it momentarily. Sizing up the landscape here a little bit. I don't like my landscape to be too even, so kind of keep your brush moving. We're kind of just applying color at this point. We'll come back and do some more of it here momentarily. Just keep adding to it, adding to it. Get a little bit more sap green. Nobody said anything. Oh, there's Bruce Sanders. Hey, Bruce. How you doing, buddy? Oh, thanks. Yeah, we're, that's probably going to be the future. As we get closer and closer to, to moving, we'll probably do that probably go more and more toward YouTube as subscriptions start to pick up. Alright. 
Okay, these trees over here are not as dark as I would like, so we will work on them some more in a minute. So we're kind of mixing back and forth. We're mixing some uh, Payne's Gray, green, burnt umber, and a little bit of midnight black here and there. We're just kind of starting to use up the paint that we have on the canvas. I mean on the palette. I'll get it right in a minute. Just don't use up the paint we have on the canvas. That'd be terrible. All right. Now, if you decide you want to put a bunch of details on here, you could, if you wanted to, you could wipe some of this paint back after you've, after you've got it on here. You could cut, color it in and kind of get all the base color underneath the dark, you know, your shades, all your darkest values up. And then uh, go from there. But we're just going to kind of use all of this in a minute to do some other things with it. Or you could just fill it in like this and leave it. You know, whatever, whatever suits your fancy. This lower reach is better on my shoulder than the earlier having to reach up high on the canvas. So hopefully you can see there that by switching back and forth these different colors we're getting a lot of different tones in this in this and of course you got liquid white on the bottom um, it's also kind of throwing some more color into the mix allowing those colors to kind of blend together If you come looking for me on YouTube, my channel is Ben Stiver's Fine Art, just like it is over here on Facebook. And uh, we'll be double posting for a while, a while yet. Maybe uh, most of maybe most of this year. We'll see. It all depends on how my shoulder goes, I reckon. Although it doesn't take much more shoulder to post a painting in two places than it does in one, but. We'll only be going live in one place, one place, so today it's over here. All right, almost there, guys, with this part anyway. Taking your time to do this part is really important. I mean, it's a little can be a little monotonous just getting the color down but if you I mean you don't have to do it this way you could actually just uh, paint it with a brush flat just but I, I kind of like the tones that I pick up when I do it this way so try it both ways and in a minute you're gonna see what I'm talking about because I'm gonna change brushes and we're gonna do some color mixing here do some highlighting So now, let me, let me fix these two trees first, and then we'll start working on the rest of it. These trees are driving me crazy. I can't stand it. So I'm going to make this tree that looks fine. It just needs to be darker. Alright. This tree needs to be real dark. Make it a little bit taller. Da 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 da. Some grasses here. 
with this fan brush. As long as we got it up here. This pulls up really light. We can make all this little distant grasses. Like that. It just makes it uneven, so it makes it look like, you know, looks nice. All right. Now I'm going to need a bunch of other colors here to get this. So let's do this. Let's clean. Let's put this away. Let's get some of this. This is Cadmium Yellow Pale by Georgian. I'll put a bunch of it down there. Let's see how it does. We're also going to take and put a little bit of liquid white on it because we've got quite a bit of um, layers of paint on this. And we've got liquid white under it, as a matter of fact. So it's going to be a little slick to get stuff put stuff under. But mostly I want to work on this first. I don't know if you guys could tell in the painting, but got this first layer right here coming coming across where I just put those things, the grasses. So we're going to come over this way and then we're going to put a big tree right over here. And then we'll start working on highlighting the rest of this. Yeah, I'm kind of liking this. All right, so let's get, uh, let's clean this black brush. I won't need that anymore. If you're wondering what kind of brushes I use, uh, my favorite one inch brush is a Kevin Hill brush. I, I like those brushes. They, I've had them for a long time, uh, and they last. They hold up really well. They, I do need to uh, recondition them a little bit every year or so. But by and large, I'm really pleased with them. So yeah, they get they get the nod um, for painting and like edge landscape with a one inch brush. Uh, Brandon Thomas makes a nice brush for that. It's 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 not even on the edges like this. It's rough. Where'd it go? I've got one over here somewhere. See it's it's a lot rougher on the edges than this brush as you see. So it's kind of nice for, for punching in bushes and things like that. But you know just find a brush you like and use it. Alright so here we go. Let's get this tree this big tree. Big tree big tree. So I'm gonna need some green that green and some of that color. Let's put it right here. Oh, I'm actually going to have my head right in your way, so let me see if I can get out of the way and do it at the same time. Let's move it. Not quite enough paint on that brush. That's okay. We're, we're painting the back of the tree, and then we'll move to the middle. All right. Uh, I think I'll put one more tree in this episode. I'll tell you what, let me, let me put the grass in first and then I'll worry about that tree. Alright, let's do the middle of this tree. So I just want to pick up a little bit of a trunk in here. So we'll just touch it in a couple places. Like that. Wipe the knife off. Let's move to the outside of the tree. So we'll pick up some liquid white and some yellow and a little bit of green a little bit more green there we go that looks nice so it's a little bit of like a greenish greenish yellow I'm going to just to add a little bit of highlight to this tree come on get on there sticks to come up the stick there you go yeah I'm going to pick up a little bit of the cerulean blue. I don't have any left, but I'll put some over here. Since we've painted so many paintings in the next few days, well, none of the paint is going to dry up on the palette, so 
Pick up a little bit of blue, and it's white. And make a shadow color. Okay, it's a little bit more blue still. Yeah. All right. And on the back side of the tree, we're going to kind of add a little bit of this blue. Bluish green. adding a little bit of dark back to this tree, just a little bit. Now, let's pick up the blue. A little more blue. Here we go. All right. I'm happy with that one. All right, let's put the grass in, or start putting the grass in anyway. We'll do that with a one-inch brush and some... I don't know, I think we'll do it with an oval brush. Get a little bit of liquid white and some yellow. We're really stomping it into this brush. So if you look at this brush, it's, it's pretty well. We got all of this stuff laid apart, and then uh, we'll go from there. So now, a lot of this is in the sunlight, so we're going to kind of touch this out. Ooh, it's sticking good. All right, light, light, light touching, light, light touching. Then as I move to this side, we want it to kind of let it fade in with the darker colors that we put on there before. And of course, we're putting a little bit of pressure down on this thing to um, soften that as we're pushing it down. There we go. Okay, now we're going to tap the rest of this in without reloading the brush. So we want to add just, we're just adding smidgens of color. Maybe a few things here and there pop up. It's a little too bright. If it gets a little too bright, just tap over it and it'll come back out. There we go. Alright. I think right there though, right here on the edge. Okay, let's see. I think we'll add a couple of water lines here and there. So let's do that. We'll do that with titanium white. We could, well, we could just do it with titanium white. We could do it with liquid white, but for me, at least, it's a little trickier to do it with liquid white because, yeah, that stuff, I mean, it's very, it's very slick, right? So, with titanium white, it seems like you can get a little bit more uh, control. So, let's pick some up. And yeah, let's just kind of keep it level. I'm just pushing it on. Don't to get too carried away with this.
Okay, let's add. I haven't added a tint to a painting in a long time, so let's do that. Let's clean up some brushes real quick. That one looks like it's already clean, so I'm going to put it away. And let's put a tint in here. Let me see if I see my little paint eraser. It's just a paint eraser. If you've never seen one, it's not all that hard to use. It's just like a regular eraser, except for paint. Alright, where's a good spot to put this girl? Alright, let's go like it. out. You know, if you start to do this and you're like, oh, oh no, I messed it up. Well, just tap back over with your brush and, and it'll just go away. But don't be afraid to maneuver the paint because there's nothing you can mess up you can't fix. Seriously, nothing that you can do that you can't fix. Alright. Uh, let's get a flat Just deciding if I was going to use gray or brown or burnt umber. I think I'll just use burnt umber for this. Let's kind of paint this, this little cabin in here. Let's see. I think I want that to be. Yeah, more like that. There we go. That's better. This is an old, old cabin. It's been here a long time. So let's just kind of. Rinsing the brush off, picking up some black, sticking to the same brush though. Just gonna kind of add some shadows in here. Add the door and the shadow along this ridge. All right. Got a little bit of. It's a long time abandoned. Let's add a couple other little details then, since it's going to be there. Let's just do it. Put this flat back. I'm going to pick up a script liner. A little, we don't want to add any liquid white, but we'll add a little bit of linseed oil maybe. Where's that ball? So here's a hint. I use these little apothecary jars for linseed oil. They're fantastic. They have glass lids. I love them to death. They are so easy to use. Alright. So we'll just kind of have like 
I think we'll just move it away from the house. We'll just have a little bit of a broken down fence here, out here. Let's get it laid in first and then we'll kind of figure out how we want it. How we want to highlight it. And let's just kind of put this one over here. All right. One board across. And then this board is just going to be down and then broken right here in the middle, like that. All right, let's add a little bit of highlight to that. Anything else? I'll tell you what we can do to add a little more distance to the painting. Let's go back to the fan brush. And let's, let's pick up a little bit of, a little bit more sap green. Let's let's put a couple little smaller faraway trees in there. Let's put like let's see. This is probably a little bitty one like right here. And of course, being small, it's going to be perceived to be sitting away from everything else. It needs to be darker than that, though. close this little one's gonna have to be highlighted because it it's a little dark if you sit really close all right there we go that's good put some highlight on this tree just a little bit more there we go and now a little bit of highlight on this tree not a lot don't get carried away with the highlight Maybe a little bit of extra highlight on the mountain right there. All right. Let me back up and take a look. If you don't back up and look at your paintings, you should. Tell you what, let's put a couple little boulders over there. It'd be relatively dark, but let's put a couple over there just for the heck of it. Did I see Anthony there? Anthony! Hey buddy! Man, we have not been <laughs> we haven't been able to catch up for a while. How have you been? Hopefully fantastic. See, that'll just add another layer back there of things that, things of interest, things of interest. Let's pick up a little bit of this brown, I mean this uh, burnt umber. We'll add a little bit of yellow to it. That one's kind of... There we go. And let's just select a little bit of a waterline. Along the edge there. There we go. All right. I 
think that's it, guys. Nice.